Hi there, today's topic we're going to look at two-way tables. Now, a two-way table is a really, really nice way of just displaying um, lots of information in a simple and easy way to read and to actually get information from. So, for example, from this two-way table, I can clearly see that, well, seven of the boys in Mr. A's class have blue eyes. Two of the boys have green eyes. Uh, three of the girls have brown eyes and etc etc so there's lots of things i can i can see straight away from my two-way table now let's just have a think of some of the possible questions we could be asked um this one here how many students are in the class well i could work that out quite easily by working out the totals so i'm going to add a little column here and work out the totals well how many people have b brown eyes it's going to be 7. How many people have blue eyes? It must be 11. How many people have green? It must be 7. So we've got 7, and 7 is 14, and 11. That means there's 25 people in total in the class. Um, what else? We've got 3 and 4 is 7. 7 and 5 is 12. There are 12 girls, and there must be 13 boys. And let's just check that. 7 and 4 is 11, and 2 is, in fact, 13. So we can easily work out the totals by adding the columns and rows so there are 25 students in the class what else could we be asked uh, how many boys have blue or green eyes so how many boys have blue or green eyes well seven and two is nine what else could we be asked maybe how many students have green eyes well i'm glad we've already worked that out there are seven students in total that have green eyes and one more question how many students don't have blue eyes that means they must have blue or they must have brown or green eyes and there's seven brown eyed people seven green eyed people so there are 14 students who don't have blue eyes another way sometimes we see two way tables is like this where information is left out and before we should tackle any questions whatsoever, I'm just going to try and fit in the table. Well, if eight people in total have brown eyes, that means, and four of them have are boys, that means the other four must be girls. Um, four girls have blue eyes, but there's 12 in total. That must mean there's eight boys who have blue eyes. Um, let me see, we've got 27 people in total. We've got 8 here and 12 here, that's 20. That means the other 7 must come from here. So if 7 people have green eyes in total and 2 are boys, that means 5 must be girls. Which tells me now that, let me see, we've got 4 and 8 is 12. There are 14 boys in total. Um, that should leave 13. Take 14 away from 27 to get 13. We should have 13 girls. Let's just double check that. 4 and 4 is 8. 8 and 5 is in fact 13. So we filled in our table. Now let's see some possible questions. How many girls are there in the class? Well, we've already worked that out. There are 13 girls in the class. How many boys have brown or green eyes? So we've got 4 boys with brown eyes. 2 boys with green eyes. That's 6 in total. So 6 have brown or green. How many students don't have green eyes? Well, if there's 27 students in total, but seven have green eyes, that means 20 don't have green eyes. And one more question, how many boys are there in the class? Well, we've already worked that out. There are 14 boys in the class. So it's fairly straightforward. Always fill in your table. Uh, it's always good to put in as much information as you can before you tackle any questions whatsoever. And then the question should be fairly handy to answer. Right, time for you to have a go. So if you've printed off the sheet, uh, here's a couple of questions for you to do. So start by filling in the table and answer the questions below. Okay, if you manage to do that, there are your solutions. So you can mark off your work, see how you did, and... Uh, that's all for today so another short video I uh, hope you found it useful and I will talk to you again sometime